Today on Wide Open Outdoor Adventures, we're fishing Costa Rica. I'm fishing with my great friend, Tim Kiker. But we're not going for tarpon. We're going up the irrigation canals in search of rod bend in action. On the way, we found a healthy, happy sloth way up in the trees. You never know what you're going to find in the jungle. These animals are protected, like elephants, otters, and tigers. Their organs are actually attached to their rib cages, and therefore they don't weigh down the lungs, because these animals spend about 90% of their time upside down. He's got that motor cranked up. I don't know what size fish we're going to be catching. Fish on. Oh, pretty good fighter for his size. What do I have there, Carlos? Oh, look at this thing. Watch your hook. Mahara's a fish I got here. He's got a big bulbous head, and he liked this little crankbait. Looks like a little Rapala crankbait. Take a look at this fish. I've never seen one like him in my lifetime, but they're very common in these waters. All right, guys. Carlos is going to fire up this uh, Evinrude here, big 25 horsepower on this uh, John boat, and we're going to go up the river a little bit more. We only picked up one fish there. It's all about increasing our odds. Oh, this is going to work. I bet the action of the little fish made that snook inquisitive. Fish on. Kiker's got one. You see what he did is he just pitched it up by the grass, twitch it a little bit, and, and get him out of there. Look at that one. That's a big mama for that kind of fish, you know. Oof. Ah. Much distance. Oh, here we go. All right, good. Coming in behind him. I know, I know you're in an odd place. Fish on. What is he? That's an opposite. That's different. Look how pretty he is. Get in there. Okay, take him to Carlos. Look at that. That fish or one, a little group of them was just attacking the lures every time we landed in there. Tim said, I think there's a limit on how much we can play with this fish and then bam, he gets him. Dr. Carlos to the surgery room.
Good move, Tim. Still trying to get it. Really small fish. Fish on. That's why we use ugly sticks. Oh, horsepower here. Do you like inshore fishing? Comment below and stay in touch with the Wide Open Crew. We'll give you tips and techniques to make you even better. Do it. All right, a bigger one. So I don't really know if they're feeding this time of day, but they're coming up. They have to take the bait. We're in their territory. And uh, we've been getting swirls around baits, not always hooking up. But a uh, beautiful fish right here, Costa Rica style. Beautiful little fish. What the? Where's Tim right there? Oh, fish, fish are coming, get it. I saw several fish coming from my bait. Another nice one. Look at this. Show them to you guys. Come on now. I'm trying to take it, oxygen out of that water and he's up in the air with me. Tim's on fish. Try to hold us here, Carlos. I'll get a few casts in there while he catches this other fish. Oh, that's a big one. Yep, they're coming after yours too. Beautiful. You have a net? I got it. Let me fight him, Carlos, please. Okay. Bring it right here. Bring it right here. Okay, let me let one more circle. I got him. I got him. Look at that beautiful snook right here. And what we were messing around with with the little small kind of perch looking fish. And this guy came out and said, no buddy, that's my lure, my bait. How about that? Now you gotta be careful with snook to hold them like this. You don't wanna hold them very long because their jaw can come dislocated because their mouth, they have a really big mouth, they can open it up. But you don't wanna dislocate their jaw. They have trouble eating after a while, and it could actually starve if you really disabled their jaw. So I'm gonna let Carlos do the uh, surgery and look at that lure down in there. He just sucked it down. Now that's why we came to Costa Rica. Beautiful, healthy snook. I'll let Carlos get that lure out and let this beautiful fish go back to fight another day. Look at his eyes. They're like an alligator. They're right on the top of his head. Beautiful, beautiful. And the, and the uh, exaggerated lateral line of a snook, you see that line? Very distinctive for this species of fish. Here's this beautiful fish right here. 
no lure down his throat. We're gonna let him go back to fight another day. Fish on. Bigger fish. Oh, he might be under the stump. Okay, I got him out. Ooh. Now that fish was right up where this log goes into the shoreline. He was right up inside there, right where Tim told me to work that log. I bet there were fish staged under it too. So. Fish on, fish on. It's the structure of these logs where they hide. Ooh, big swoosh. Fishing the river here, Costa Rica style. We got a double. He's there. Thanks for spending some time with us today on this episode of Wide Open Outdoor Adventures. It doesn't get any better than Costa Rica, right here, the river. I never did anything like this. A little bit like bass fishing, I loved it. What drew you to the river, Tim? Well, my good friend and guide, Carlos, uh, suggested we come here and the first time I came I was just hooked on how beautiful it is. Uh, very peaceful except for the monkeys and the birds which are wonderful and the macaws that fly over. Uh, just you know, tarpon fishing is great at Rio Paris Mina but no trips complete until you come into the river and do some target fishing with ultralight. ultralight too cool this place is the epitome of wide open outdoors thanks for your time and we'll see you in the next wide open outdoor adventure